Hello everybody, my name is Daniel, and this is Topher the Claw Monster, and welcome to the blog. Just woke up. This is my hair. It's rather funny right now, but I figured that I needed to share it with all of you, because I have no shame. But being back in New Jersey means proximity to my dance studio, so I figured that while I'm here, I could put together a little video about my experience at Bam Jam and give a few tips and tricks on how to get called back in the syllabus rounds and employ the help of some of my dancer friends um, at the studio. So here it goes. Okay, I actually couldn't handle the, the hair anymore, so I went to the shower. It looks a little bit better now. Oh. All right, first tip for getting called back into a syllabus competition is first on, last off. So there are two parts to that. First of all, first on. Uh, what I mean by that is you want to position yourself in the on back line in such a way that when you're let out onto the floor, you get to choose the spot that you want to dance in on the floor. This is more important for rhythm and Latin as opposed to standard and smooth where you're actually going down the line of dance. But especially for rhythm and Latin, you want to put yourself in a place where that's going to get you maximum exposure to all the judges. Um, what I've been told is try to aim for the middle of one of the long sides so that you're in the thick of the action. Unless there's a big splash of empty space down on one of the short sides and you can definitely get noticed there. Then definitely take that spot. But Essentially, put yourself in a position where you can choose a spot where you want to dance, not dependent upon where everybody else has already placed themselves. Last off, um, especially in the earlier rounds in, say, bronze, where judges are calling back maybe 48 from 5 or 24 from 3, um, oftentimes uh, judges will get to the end of the music and realize that they haven't met their quota. They haven't gotten their 48 or their 24. So in a last-ditch effort, they're going to look at the folks who are coming off the floor that are coming off the floor and simply write down their numbers just to have their quota. Um, so if you didn't catch your eye throughout the competitive round, hopefully you did, but if you didn't, um, it's kind of a last-ditch last, last ditch effort to get onto that judge's sheet. So part and parcel with uh, last off is the way that you end the dance. Uh, make sure that you bow graciously, make sure that you acknowledge your partner, make sure that you keep up your posture and your good intentions until you're off the floor and the next heat has started dancing. Don't start yelling at yourself. Don't start yelling at your partner for mistakes that were made on the floor. Don't start dissecting how everything went. Because judges are still marking on your way out. So keep your posture up until you're off that floor. Okay, now that you've gotten onto the floor and you know how to get off it, what happens during it? Rule number two, stay on time. For the love of God, please stay on time. Now, we're all human. We all get very excited. Adrenaline is rushing out there on the comp floor. So oftentimes, maybe we'll speed up, maybe we'll slow down. Maybe we can't find the beat in the first place. Um, if it's a weird song or we just can't hear it. That's okay, that's normal. Get back on time is corollary to stay on time. Um, don't keep plowing on and, and sticking to your guns with the wrong beat. Please get back on time. It is the, one of the most important things that judges use to judge the syllabus rounds, especially. Um, if you're cha cha on the 2 3 as opposed to the 4 1, you're not getting that call back. If you somehow make it to the final with that, you are not getting placed higher than last. I can guarantee it. Please stay on time. Please get back on time if you have somehow managed to get off time. Say you're not musically inclined. Say that you always have trouble kind of finding the beat. Hopefully your partner uh, will be able to get you onto that beat. If you're a leader who can't count, maybe the follower can get you started. If you're a follower who can't count, follow your leader's lead. Um, just again, please stay on time. Please get back on time. All right, rule number three, maintain your posture, maintain your frame. So posture um, is something that people are working on into the very upper levels I can speak from experience, believe me. Um, but even at the very lowest levels, it's simply a matter of relaxing, not going completely limp noodle, but just relaxing. On the comp floor, when it's a matter of choosing between a couple with a nice grand frame, or a couple whose shoulders are kind of scrunched up like this and, and you can tell that they're just really uncomfortable, um, we're always going to go with a couple that's a little bit more relaxed. So keep that posture relaxed. Don't let the shoulders come up, creep up over here. So those are three basic rules for no matter what level you're dancing. Um, first on, last off. Stay on time, keep on time, or get back on time. And maintain your posture, maintain your frame. Um, 
Now, I have also a few other tips and tricks um, that can get you a little bit more exposure to the judges to make sure that your number gets down onto their sheet. Some of these are stylistic things, some of these are just kind of practical things, but these are little things that I've learned as I've been competing throughout syllabus to get yourself noticed on that floor. Rule number four, rotate. Um, when you're first starting out with your cha-cha basic and your American Rumba Box basic, you'll learn two, three, cha-cha-cha. you learn slow, quick, quick, or quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Um, and oftentimes that'll be what you put out onto the floor. That's fantastic. And you can have an absolutely phenomenal basic. Use nothing but the basic and get called back in all rounds of newcomer and, and bronze and so on and so forth. But if the judges can't see your number, they can't call you back. So if you are a leader facing a judge and your back is away from them, they simply can't take down your number. So if you never rotate your basic, they can never mark you down. Unless they're feeling nice enough to walk around and try to find your number, but oftentimes the judge will not be that nice. So that's important for the rhythm in, in Latin dances especially, again. Um, just speaking in rhythm, for example, cha-cha and rumba turn to the left, Swing can turn to the left or to the right. Mambo can turn to the left as well. Um, but it even happens in the standard and smooth dances. Bronze quick step. Um, please throw in a spin turn every now and then so that a judge that you're facing can actually see your number two. Throw in maybe a pivot turn for American uh, style bronze foxtrot at a corner just so a judge can see your number two. All right, rule number five, and this is the one where I kind of personalize a little bit. Know what style you are dancing. Um, I am an American style dancer. I dance rhythm and I dance smooth and I am proud of it. So it, it's really irksome to me as a spectator and also when I was a judge at Bam Jam, when I saw folks who thought that rhythm is bad Latin and thought that smooth is bad standard. Not the case, folks. American rumba is a box basic. You have slow, quick, quick, or quick, quick, slow. It is not two, three, four, as an international rumba. There is no mooch in the swing. There's a four walks back, and it's a lot of fun, the four kicks, but there's no mooch in swing. There is no fan and hockey stick in bronze American cha-cha. Please do not put a fan and hockey stick in your bronze American cha-cha. Please save that for international Latin. When you're dancing mambo, please step on the two. It is not salsa, do not step on the one. Please step on the two in Mambo. The international tango style link is not available until silver in American tango. Please do not put it into your bronze American tango. In bronze American waltz, please open up every once in a while. Maybe put in a butterfly, maybe even put in something as simple as a six count underarm turn. But please open up once in a while. Please don't stick to your international natural turn to reverse turn to spin turn out of corner. So those are some tips and tricks to get you called back in syllabus competition. Uh, first on, last off. Number two, uh, keep, uh, stay on time. Make sure to get back on time if you manage to get off time. Three, maintain your posture, maintain your frame. Four, rotate so that the judges can actually see your number. Five, know what style you're dancing. I hope that this is a little bit helpful. Um, these are just some of the things that I noticed um, in the course of my own uh, career as a syllabus competitor and also as a judge at Bam Jam. Things that I really would have liked to see and that I rewarded when I did see. So hit up the comments below, let me know if there's anything else that you think are vital for syllabus dancers to know um, in order to get called back in a competition. Um, let me know if you disagree uh, with any thing that I say that's a democracy we get to say what we want to um, and yeah as always thank you for watching this blog um, make sure to hit like comment subscribe whatever you so desire and until the next time bye